Oh, I got it, I got it. Welcome to the MBA Week 2. We have a matchup here. CCF versus your YFR Tigers. Yeah, JJ, big week we have here. We just um, came off of a thriller. Absolute nail-biter of a game. DRS versus uh, YFR 9, but unfortunately neither of them pay us, JJ. So uh, you, you guys know, can get it on video. We don't have the video of it, but if you, you want to videos. Yet. Yet. You know who to contact? You know who to contact if you want the videos? Yeah, if you want any any sort of advertising, uh, any sort of affiliation to the NBA broadcast, you can contact us at broadcastmbagmail.com, popped up there on the screen. And guys, look at this beautiful new camera We're excited. angle. Oh we are God. excited. Two new views from the court. One so let's from the start camera off yeah. in the corner. 
We got a thing. moving camera also. Thank Gabby Newman for being here today. Gabby Newman, clap it up. Clap it up in the chat. Finally, the trio is reunited at, in the broadcast booth with Gabby Newman doing the tech. Look at these beautiful, high resolution, crisp quality camera angles. You're gonna get the scoreboard? Game's about to get underway. On the left in white, we have the Chafetz Chaim Cavaliers wow, with new jerseys. jerseys. Look at those about jerseys. I, I wanna say, probably one of the cleanest jersey colorways I've ever seen well, these in new this ones. league. These new ones are absolutely gorgeous. Well, coming into this game here, JJ, I was nervous for a second that we had the wrong game. We had the wrong time slot ready because I've never seen these jerseys before. But I'm not, you know, I'm not opposed to them. They have the little Cavalier emblem on the shorts, the number on the other side. Tigers, on the other hand, they're going deep with their jerseys. This is the first time a YFR team has reused an old jersey name, an old team name. These are old jerseys? They were the Tigers two years ago for varsity, but oh, they wow. were different colors. Every like them, year, the Raptors. They have like different names. This every year, year, this year they're the Rockaway Boys. They are the Rockaway Boys. So it says in their jerseys, don't yeah. I bet. Anyway, let's set the starting lineups, JJ. For the Chafetz Chaim Cavaliers at point guard, we have is his are his numbers backwards? Is that a two for Ezra Braun? I can't tell what number that is. We'll discuss that later. As Chafetz Chaim wins the tip, Ezra Braun brings it to the front court. Waltner and Joe on his sides, flanking him. Braun gets it back up at top. Defense coming out to meet him at the top of the key. He's dribbling over top. Sultan comes to set a screen, but he already picked up his dribble. Sultan over to Braun. Braun two-man game, tries going around the screen. Nothing there for him. Joe catches it, pump fake. Drives in the middle of the lane. Contact, and he's going to be headed to the line for two. Can't get that one to fall, but that was a great job driving to the basket and putting it up there. That finger roll just didn't work out that time. Shout out to Rabbi Bennett walking into the gym. None of this would be possible without him, so thank you, Rabbi Bennett. Look at this free throw angle that we have. Mr. Yehuda, uh, Mr. Chaim Diamond in the corner manning it. Wow, look at all these angles. I'm saying you could, you could be watching ESPN right now. But why would you be when you have us? Oh, big rebound Sultan. by Sultan. Can't get it to fall. Great offensive rebound. Going up for the second try. Versalizer oh, unable to, to get it. Ezra Braun with the offensive rebound. And a foul on seven black. That's, I can't read his last name on that jersey. Just like the NBA, offensive rebounds are huge in this league. The NBA. Offensive rebounds are always big, JJ. As the turnover out of the inbounds, Wi-Fi looking to push it. Good fast break and gets it over to his second man on the left side. And a quick 2-0 lead for YFR 10. Should be a tie game right here, but Huffett's time couldn't finish the last drive. Let's see what they can do right now. Sultan taking offense to the YFR crowd. Somebody must have said something to him. Layering into the audience on that side of the gym. Ezra Braun swings over to Versalizer. Versalizer really coming to his own in the last game. Misses a floater. That's the second time he's missed a shot from down low, point blank range. But you gotta think he's gonna catch his rhythm soon. Wildfire, a little inside out game, gets into the middle of paint. And a three second violation on the YFR offense. That was an easy call there for country. Now, JJ, let's set the starting lineup. You got Braun handling the ball. You got Virtualizer at the power forward on his side right now. Sultan at the big man position, number five. Joe with the offensive rebound over there, and Waltner with the ball right now on the right wing. Braun, number 15, sends it over to Joe in the corner, number 11. Goes over to Sultan, the big man, stretching out to the three point line right now. Quick swing to Braun, takes the pass. A three second violation, this time on Crawford's time. JJ, that's the second one in a row. You no. cannot afford that. Moving the ball around the wing a, a bunch. And your big man's just waiting under the hoop, waiting for that pass. Sometimes you get ahead of yourself and forget to step out for a second. That could be what's happening. Yeah, as a big man, you always got to be aware of the amount of time you spend in the paint. And there, two plays in a row, you see they got a little carried away there, camping out. Felder gets the ball up top, pump fakes, gives the download to the big man. Out to Haas. Haas sets up for a rainbow three. No good. Offensive foul on the rebound by number seven and it's going to be headed the other way. Low scoring match so far here. The Tigers up on the Cavaliers 2-0 at the moment. Braun handling on top. 
Commercializer on the side, finds him. Swing, swing to the corner. Joe doesn't know what to do with it. Throws it at the floor, but Braun anticipating that pass, unable to come up with it though. Wildfire is going to be pushing the other way. Holds the ball, gives it over. Commercializer gets the rebound. He's fighting for it. Gets over to Braun finally, and Braun's going to look to push it. For the most part, these teams are making the right passes. They can't. They just can't finish at the rim. As we're going to see another kick, another drive into the paint. That's the third time Versalizer got to his spot in the middle of the paint. That time, getting the ball on the wing and making an aggressive move to get to the paint. But you got to think he's going to find his touch sometime. Same as thing. Goldstein checks out with three early fouls. Wow, three early fouls just five minutes into the game here. As YFR Tigers will bring up the ball. YFR has got it. Braun hounding the ball and passes it right out of bounds. Zach is okay, everybody. Zach Kessler is okay. The ball almost knocked out the laptop. Scoreboard could have gone down for a minute. But thanks to the quick reaction of our scoreboard manager, we are up and running with no issues. Joe, Peralta, three, money. First bucket of the game for Kupfitz Chaim. And a one-point lead, 15 minutes left in the first half. And Simi Felder bring up the ball for YFR. Going to look to respond. The Tigers on the prowl. Gives it inside, pump it. Cavaliers are there to meet him. And they're going to bring it down the other way as LeBron handling. Takes it. Tries to knock it inside. The cutter stopped cutting. And now the Tigers are roaring the other way. Good fast break movement. But the Tigers are unable to finish. Dolphins Time is going to bring it up the other way. LeBron looking to put more than one basket on the board for Dolphins Time. Gives it over to Sultan, high post, looks to make a power move. Good wow. move by Sultan. Using his body to get to work there. He knows he has the advantage. He, what is he, like 6'6"? Six, six? Wow. Yeah, size-wise, he's definitely, definitely an imposing figure. This Tigers team, they're not very big, so he could definitely use his size to impose his will on opposing defenses and get into the paint for some easy buckets. Rosendahl. Gives it up top. Pump fake doesn't get anybody anywhere. Felder going to hold the ball. You never want to do that as a point guard. Braun pokes it out. Gives it over to Rosendahl, the high post. They got it into the corner. Drive, kick out. Gives it back to Rosendahl. No foul called. A lot of contact on the catch there. And YFR is nothing going. I've noticed, the defense. I've noticed one thing about this Cavalier defense. They're not letting anything in the paint. They're denying every pass inside the middle. And they're just letting them kick out into the, to the wings until they Come find on. something open, which yeah. they have not. Definitely. They're really clogging up the inside there, not letting any shots, not letting any easy shots, excuse me, for these YFR Tigers. Tough it's time. Get an inbound from under the basket. Gives it over to Sultan. Great inbounds play. YFR fell asleep, and that's just the veteran knowledge of these Cuffin Sky and 10th graders out here. Knowing exactly what to do as the defense you know, was a little lax and gave up two points there off the inbound. Can't Running get a floater, floater, yeah. yeah. That's a very difficult shot, one of the hardest in the, in the game of ball. Yeah, first shot coming off the bench. Really got to think it's not an ideal look, especially for his first look of the night. Shea shuffles his feet. Country knew exactly what to do in that situation. I Excuse think, me, Andre. I think that's Andre's favorite call. What, the travel? He loves that travel call. Yeah, he loves it. I say he averages like three a game. Way more than three more a game. More than three? 100 Let's count. That's one right there. That's one. You know what? Travel counter. We got one. Thank you, Shmiel, our it. statistician. Shmiel, what do we got right now? Leading scorer this far into the game. Uh, four points for Sultan. Not very high scoring. JJ, these points, not, not a lot on the board. Uh, can we update the scoreboard? I'll get 7-2. Uh, seven, seven, Bobby, can we get a travel count yeah. graphic? We're counting the travels that Andre's calling. We said, we said it's a favorite call. I'm at Shmiel, excuse me. Shout um, out to Shmiel and Zach, man, in the live scoreboard. They don't get enough credit every night that they're here. Yeah, you know what? Here all day, the whole Sunday afternoon, and um, let's go. We're back from the timeout, 12.45 to play. Oh, Rosenthal gets on the wing, could have called the travel, doesn't. 
And Waltner gets the ball a little you know, slow to make a decision there. But Verschleiser over three in the corner. That's the reaction to that play. And the Felder comes up with it. Oh, long bomb. Touchdown. No! He had an easy layup. He could not have asked for an easier shot. And he absolutely just boxed the open layup. You can't afford that. Look at the right. Especially. Three seconds again from Verschleiser. Is that a second one of the night? That might be. These three second violations are adding up for both teams. Yeah, they really are. And you got to make sure, as a big man, we said it, we'll say it again. As another Stein gets in the passing lanes, but the big man got to be ready and aware of how long they spend in the painted area. Braun cuts into the middle of the lane. A tough layup, no good, and Rosenthal corrals the rebound for YFR. YFR bringing the ball up, top of the key, gives it over to Felder at the left. Felder, by the, the corner, three, pops it. Can't get it to fall. These aren't necessarily bad looks, they're just not falling. We wait for these teams to, uh, you know, warm up a little bit. Sometimes uh, practice before the game isn't enough. You need yeah, to in game. Definitely. Sometimes, you know, with a game before you, you don't have the, you know, ideal amount of time to get your stretching and your warm-ups in. And also, part of it might be nerves. We saw a miss open layup, and I, I know in an open gym he's not doing that. He has the ability to hit these layups, and maybe next time he'll hit it. As the three goes down for Rodner, those goggles definitely help him see better. And JJ, that shot was wet because he needs goggles after that splash. <laughs> so Gobby, score. We want to thank Gobby for being here again. A little rusty on the scoreboard, but don't worry about that. We'll be on top of it in no time. Speaking of Gobby Newman, a very, very happy birthday to Gobby Newman, a great friend of ours. And none of this would be possible without him. I want to wish a happy birthday to Gobby and a happy birthday. To anybody I'm whose birthday it might be today. Ahem. All right. Ari wins. Shout out. There won't be a live timer on the screen, but we will notify you when there is like 30 seconds left. Like a oh, uh, Out of bounds. Bad Aaron pass from Ezra Braun. The substitution. Booksler? How do you pronounce that? How do we pronounce that? Book? Buchler. We don't know how to pronounce his name. Let us know in the chat and the comments down below if you could let us know. Yeah, let us know how that's pronounced. Simi Felder calling out plays. Point guard bringing it up. Ezra Braun out on him. Only Wide two points so far for YFR. And that one was air mailed. Way too strong. And Braun's going to look to extend this lead to double digits. 10 or 11 depending on shot selection. Braun gets his way to the paint. Pivots. Floater. Doesn't get it to fall. The point guard wrestling his way in there. Tough, tough rebound. Braun is a beast. On defense and offense, he has like a couple steals already also. Saying he sees that ball and he's just like attracted to it almost. He just wants it in his hands. Well, you know what they say, brain over Braun. Well, right now, Braun's got brain and Braun. Ooh, that looked like it was going to stay here. Audrey said differently. You know what? Country's a seasoned vet. And... You know, he, he's not new to this. He knows exactly what to call and when, and I'm sure he got a good view on that. Thank you to the refs, obviously. By a far, cuts into the paint, loses the ball. Sultan kicks it, and it's going to stay with the Tigers. Only two points for YFR, JJ. What do we need to see from this Tiger squad if they want to get out of this game scoring more than 10 points? Well, the YFR ninth grade, you saw them play the other, the other game. They were way more offensively motivated, and they just seemed to be making the right passes. I don't know. Yeah, they were definitely clicking more. Uh, they were playing more as a team. This, this team, this YFR 10 team, seems a little stagnant on offense. It's Felder. Must have heard what we were saying. Knocks down the three. Cuts the lead to five points. But you got to think this YFR 9th versus 10th game that will happen sometime later on in the season. It's probably going to be a spirited matchup for bragging rights. They're going to see each other in school the very next morning. The Another third three-second three call. Second call. 
That one, the guy. I, these names. Somebody please give me a list of how these names are pronounced. JJ, do we have any clue? Like Braun is pretty simple. Um, we got Versalizer, which we learned last year. And Same then Sultan also. Sultan was yeah we knew from last year. That was easy day. Another three. Well, far getting these threes, getting knocked down, finally hitting some shots. They knew they couldn't work in the paint, so they're just kicking out to the open man and shooting it. Yeah, that's the second three in a row from YFR 10. Rosenthal with the flat foot shot coming from the big man. Always good to have a stretch big. Joe with the rainbow three. Spoke paint off the ceiling. He had the answer to the two threes in a row from this YFR team. Now YFR on a little bit of a run. Let's see if they could respond to that three by Joe. Sammy gets into the paint. Middling, excuse me, and he hits a tough jumper, defense on his heel. JJ's an 8-2 run, and all of a sudden, a one-possession game. Low scoring, 13-10. The NBA is like that. If you want to be entertained, come watch us at oh, the Broad Broadcast. Yeah, we love all the support. Thank you, everybody, for watching here today. Braun making the, making the ref's job easy. Picking up the ball. And then taking a couple steps, putting it back down. That was a carry. And we know, JJ, we spoke about traveling last week. But you cannot carry either. Not as called as the travel, but it's still illegal. Let's check the YouTube Wrong comments game. here. Yeah, we got a little stoppage in time. Uh, Harold says, I've never seen worse jerseys in my life, bro. Yeah. Yo, who we going for? Uh, oh, I hope he's talking about YFR's jerseys because, as we said before, the Cavs are actually so clean. They remind me of uh, Cream City Bucks. Not the color, but the no, design. No, yeah, I see that. I feel you. But obviously, we are going for a cup of time, and I'm allowed to say that because they endorsed us. If you guys are interested in having your game streamed, contact us at broadcastmba at gmail.com for advertising options or for really anything if to help If you have a small us. business and you're trying to grow, I'm saying you have tons of parents watching these streams. Like, let's say you're a photographer. You need a bar mitzvah done. A lot of parents here have young kids. Oh, what a block! Wow. In the well, paint. Speaking of photographers, that block, that defensive sequence, this picture perfect. Wow! We put him on a poster there. That was very nice. Anyway, Harold, like we were saying before, obviously we are going for Chavetz Chaim um, until you know. Hopefully, YFR 10. We'd love to have them on our, on our team. Hopefully, at some point in the season, we won't go for any team. Exactly. We're all, any games all day. We got four games a day in this beautiful league. As Solomon takes up the floor, fast break, knocked out of bounds, and it's going the other way. A little bit of an earned pass. 13-10, Chafetz Chaim. And right now, the Cavaliers are trying to ride on their stallion for a half halftime time break. We got a timeout. And we'll be right back in a second. This is Yehuda Diamond and J.J. Ostro. And we're back. That beautiful action shot was brought to you by JJ Ostroff Photography. Not actually. Why Rothman Photography? Not actually. May. YFR trying to be aggressive there in the corner. Unable to come up with the ball. Versalizer give it over, gives it over to Leibovitz. Lebovitz? I don't know, man. Somebody's got to tell me how to pronounce these names. Joe in the corner. He airmails that one. Goes over the rim. Offensive rebound. Kind of loses possession there. Versalizer, same spot, same result. Unable to get it to go. One possession game, four minutes to go in the first half. And we're going to head over to Schmiel, our statistician. Schmiel, what do we see right now from the stat book that stands out? Alto, two threes. We got two threes from the sniper himself, Walter Waltner. And he's really been helpful for this Cavaliers team. That's why far his most open shot the whole night. 
actually surprised that they got so open under the paint there with the Cavaliers' defense. Yeah, Cuffin's time is locked it down. Speaking of. Oh, Walton are in and out, almost made it a third one. But yeah, uh, Lion Farm hasn't really got a lot of good looks in the paint. And that was one they finally converted, making it a one point game. Rosie Dahl out to Felder. Felder goes around the screen. Pump thinks got something in the uh, Salomon baseline. Gets it, cross court to the corner. He's going to dribble crossover, gives over Salomon at the top. Pump fakes, nice into the paint. Goes up strong against the big man. And he's going to be headed to the line for two. Joey Salomon being aggressive. Actually, yeah. Salomon at the line, free throw, up and down. Got Salomon to go. And right now, Gabby, it's a tie game. JJ, we 13, have not seen 13. Just like last week, when YFR was down, we said that they could come back, and you know what happened? Oh, they came back. They came back, History ladies and gentlemen. History repeats itself. It really does. You know what? These teams, a lot of teams get complacent. Thomas Time was looking to make it a one-point game. Oh, I'm sorry, a ten-point game. And they thought they had this game in the bag. They were, you know, playing easy. Their defense got a little lax. Their offense a little less crisp. And all of a sudden, they find themselves with a tie game. Slow offense, very methodical, virtualizer. Oh, what a cut! Oh, yeah. oh, Great play. Big man to big man. High to low. And that's exactly how you run a half-court offense. That's tunnel vision right there. That's like a KD pass to a running Westbrook down the court. Oh, wow, you're bringing it back to the prime 2013 there. That was a beautiful play here in the NBA. Shawson Gymnasium. Sultan confidently and casually knocks down that one. Feather going to bring it up. The tie game now with three-point deficit, but they've been here before tonight. Their largest deficit was 10. Felder cross by the cutter. But Versalizer's long arms got in the way of the passing lanes, and he doesn't let that one happen. Joe has it in the corner, gives it out of Versalizer. Oh! Rejected by Rosendahl. Do not go in there. Ryan Farr going to bring it up. Spins out. Met by a wall. Hey! What a turnaround jumper! This is the momentum that Ryan Farr needs to take this game. One minute left in, into the first half. Before the Cavaliers were riding on their steed, but now it looks like the Tigers have the reins. As Sultan goes up, and he's going to head to the free throw line. Why I far upset about that call, but that was a blatant call. That was really obvious. I think they were maybe a foot away from the ball. I'm not sure why they're complaining. Shelton, an efficient free throw shooter throughout his career. Knocked down the one a couple seconds ago. Going to look to extend the lead from one. Shelton puts the first one up. Knocks that one in. He's got a really nice free throw, JJ. It looks cool. It looks confident. The form is nice. Dalton hit the first one. He's going to look to make it two at the line. Number 34, the big man, knocks them both in. He's playing big, and he's dominating like Shaq. But unlike Shaq, he's hitting those free throws. As an errant pass, I'm not even sure who that was intended for, ends up with a Sultan fast break. Wow, Brown had the layup himself. But he looked to pass it and was unselfish in that play. Absolutely beautiful basketball on the Cavaliers. That's it on the baseline of travel. That's number two on the count. If you remember, we're counting those calls. I do remember that. The over-under was three set by JJ earlier. All right no, now. Nothing about it. I'm 100% wrong. You're 100% wrong. It was an obvious call to say over. Yeah. Honestly, this is a low travel game. Joe, looking for the three, not there. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know Joe, the basket. Yeah. The, the, the backward was like invisible, but... He hit, he hit the wrong side of the backboard. It happens sometimes. He didn't realize that the, the backboard, it was see-through, you know? It wasn't, it wasn't invisible. Uh, you, you get the idea, guys. A three! Felder rims in and out. Rebound by Solomon. Half take, Can't unable to finish. Oh. 4.2 seconds here. JJ, this game looked like it was out of reach until now it's in reach. The Tigers, Tigers. The Tigers were asleep. Clawing at the at the deficit, they really pounced. Point five point. Yeah, they pounced on that couple time. Can't get Offense. that free throw to fall. Lots Only down, down by five. Deep. Twenty to fifteen. 
I can't even read their names. They, I like, know. It's they really, blend yeah. in. If you're a tiger, this is very good camouflage. It's all about camouflage. I was going to say. They're pushing Three seconds. Three. Run at time. Salton. Wow. He fell. That might not have been worth it. Didn't even end up with the ball, but he gets up and he's okay. Diamond player of the half. Player of the half? Well, we're going to have to go for the leading team, obviously. Uh, for the time, I would say the player of the half would be Sultan. Really anchored the offense and the defense on both sides. A steady presence. He gets it to go. A bunch of layups. Very calm and collective from the free throw line. And a defensive presence not really letting this team of the YFR 10 have their way under the basket. JJ, we have a five-minute halftime break. 20 to 16, Chafetz in favor of Chafetz Chaim. And we'll be back.
And we're back, ready to start off the second half of this game. Thank you for tuning in. Score is 20 to 16, Chafetz Chaim. And JJ, this game, let's do a quick game recap. This game started off, Chafetz Chaim came out of the gates strong, went up by 10. YFR stormed back and tied it up. And now we got a four point lead for Chafetz Chaim. They're back in front. Sultan all the way out on Sidney Felder. That means the paint is wide open, but nobody from YFR is cutting. Simi Felder gets by the big guy along the baseline and a foul on Sultan. If you're watching live, it's not the second quarter. This is the second half. We played two 20-minute halves here in the MBA. The inbound. Over to, to Solomon. A, to a cutting Solomon. Takes it out. A jumper. <laughs> We didn't see Goldstein in the first half much because of early foul trouble. He had a really quick three fouls. And maybe that's, you know, that could have been a big reason why they had no offense for the first 10, 15 minutes of that first half. Zach, 18, Zach, 18. Braun went up for the layup, poked away from behind. Good recovery defense from this YFR9 team. Almost another scoreboard mishap. Luckily, it was caught by Country this time. The inbound, Russellizer in the corner. Not gonna, Walner, gonna pass up the shot for Walter. Walner had two threes in the first half. He's their shooter right now. Braun, step back. Curry like can't get it to fall. Sultan trying Almost to get an it. Rebound. It's gonna stay the same way. That's all because of Sultan's hustle. Did he get his hands on the ball? A little bit. Did he get possession? No, but that doesn't matter. It's about the end result. And it might not be an immediate, you know, immediate reaction, but it ended up with their ball. Whoa! Oh. I hope he's okay. Versalizer gets up pretty quickly. He went flying. We could turn that into a graphic. Look like he's dunking that play. That was the block, absolutely foul. crazy. I'm not sure what the yeah. What was, was the call? call? I think it went out of bounds. Oh, travel. Well, I guess it was for a reason. You see Solomon imploring his teammates to get their hands up. Corner, corner. They to Walter to the corner. Back to Walter. Passing it up to the key inside the middle. First slides over to Braun. Braun nice his way to the middle, picks up his dribble, finds Walter. Walter for three. That was short. Solomon with the rebound. And he's gonna come the other way. Brings out the left side over to Rosendahl in the corner. Back up to Solomon. Solomon finds Felder. Felder trying to go around the screen. Loses the ball. Step back. Doesn't shoot it. Gives it over to Haas. Haas dribbling. Gives it back up to Solomon. Solomon into the paint. Oh! Hits Walton in the mouth. You see that drive? He kept the ball low. He didn't want the defender to swallow at it. He went up at the last second. Got the, the clock. 17-18. We have an injury stoppage. A little head-to-head -head collision there. Robert Scott is going to make some subs. Let's hope he's okay. The goggles came off. He's walking a little gingerly Get a back. View. He's definitely, it looks like he's breathing right now. Let's hope he's okay. Look at this crowd here in the Shawsham Gymnasium. Packed for a great game. 2018, Chafetz Chaim up by two. YFR shooting a pair. You know what? We got a lot of people here in the crowd today, but this is nothing compared to the max capacity we've seen in some of these intense games that have gone down. Legendary matchups that drew legendary crowds. That's Solomon, now it's in the free throw. Makes it a one point game. Chafetz Chaim bursted out of the gate to start off this game, but their offense has stagnated a little bit, especially in the second half. Not much scoring in total in this game. Braun gets the ball, he has the ball, a lot of dribbling into the lane, doesn't get the roll, but it's going to be a shooting foul on Rosenthal, and he's going to be headed to the line. Now, let's set the lineups quickly. Buechler, Buchler, Buechler, all of the above, I'm not really sure. Number one, he's in. Does Braun have any points yet this game? Does Braun have any points yet? Yeah, well, there's one. But Braun, does Braun have any points yet? I'm sure he does. Nope, that's actually his first point. That was a good call. He's been a great teammate, great passes. A I'm, sure, I'm passes. sure he has a, a bunch of assists. Finally gets his first point. Yeah, well, Cuff, it's time. If they're going to want to extend their lead back out, 
they're definitely going to want to get Braun involved in the scoring as he's one of their best scorers. And speaking of a lack of scoring, last game, Virtualizer, very aggressive, got a lot of good shots, and he was a key contributor to that win for them last... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they did lose. But so a big performance from him last week. A foul on Haas. But Virtualizer has no points up until this point here tonight. Who's number and one? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. We were trying to figure it out. Buckler. Buchler. 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 I don't know, man. Buckler in the corner. Let's call him Booker. Booker? For well, now. Okay. Let's go to Book. Oh, and he slid his feet. Try to do the chalk shot the slide. Three, it was a three-second call. We got word. It was? It was a three-second call. Again? It could have been a travel call. It could have been. It was simultaneous, so I guess it was just whichever one Andre decided to go with. And Andre stuck with the theme of the night with calling Clubbit's fine, big man, for three second calls. A steal for Virtualizer. You know what? That's he's had multiple steals tonight. And even if he's not contributing on the scoring end of the floor, there's at least a problem, on defense. There's a problem on our scoreboard. I forgot to add a point from earlier, so we're not we're not lying to you guys. We just made it up. 21-19. Clubbit's in the lead by two. Lose that out of bounds, unable to finish there on the offensive side of the ball. And a timeout is called by YFR 10. We have a two-point lead here. Quick timeout as we get to the crowd view. Very nice view. Both teams in their respective huddles. Again, we want to wish a happy birthday to our technician, Gabriel Zev Newman. Gobster, the mobster. We want to thank him for everything he does on and off, in and out the broadcast booth. And a happy birthday to Gabby and anybody else whose birthday it might be today. Gobs, it's a big, the big 1-7 for you. One of the younger guys in our 12th grade class. What's one thing you, know, you want to get for your birthday this year? We still got birthday presents like that? Nah, not really. No. All right. Well, you know, one present we could get for Gabby tonight, whoa, is an OT thriller. Oh, I was going to say, a wonderful game for us and for the fans at home. Let's see. It's a two-point game right now. It has the potential. First flies out to Braun. Braun not stopping to move. Gets the oh, what a reverse layoff by Braun. Reverse side gets a little spin, and maybe this is the awakening of Ezra Braun here tonight. This, this one's for out by Bennett. Puppets climb up by four. Look at that math. Puts up a shot. Ooh, can't get it to fall. Rims around. Braun brings it up the court. You know, as Joe pass, pass, Three. makes the pass. I don't know what just happened. Sultan rims out the big man, trying to show his ability to stretch. Do more than just, you know, being a big body down low in the paint. Book gets out on Haas. A little shaking and baking. The crowd gets loud. Haas goes it into Solomon. And all of a sudden, the wildfire crowd awakens. And that might be a momentum swing. The handles into the feed, into the beautiful layoff. Awesome play there. But like you were saying before, shout out. You know, you, you've come a long way with their math skills. A little high-low action. Sultan unable to get it to finish. But you were in ninth grade math up until last year, including last year. So it's really great to see that you were able to differentiate 23 from 19. I, I can't get enough of that algebra one. You know, I have a, I have a connection with it. It's very nice. Oh, JJ, soft yeah, for X right X now. Times three. Who do we have? Number 13. A shake and a bake. Haas. Oh! oh! Haas is ripening. I don't know, is that a good call? Trying to reference the avocado? Alright, whatever. You want to see me lose some. Uh, Haas coming away first the dish, then the swish. And now it's a tie game. The crowd, the crowd comes alive. About oh, Haas is a steal against Simon on the run. Was it too far for him? Oh, Ezra Braun, the point guard with the block. Joe's going to punch it and a timeout from Clubbit Slime. JJ, let's break that down. What that a sequence. That wasn't. Absolutely. Crazy sequence there. This isn't it. That was a pass, a title pass, and then I just want to mention one thing. Clubfit's time did not hustle down 
for defense on the play. I, I got it on the video. Here. Right here. It's got an instant replay. Guys, we got the unbelievable camera angles. And then to boot, we got instant replay. Wow. With Nikki in the building, left this YFR, the, the school that this YFR 10 team comes from. Watch this, watch this. To come to where it's really at. The pass goes right to YFR. Look at number one. He's not even running, he's walking. Number one walking down the court. What a, what a block by Braun on another end, though. Really, you know what? That's an easy, that's an easy yeah. two points if he's not there. Especially coming from your, uh, you know, from your point guard. That's something that you see often. Like the point guard getting back. Oh, Hezzy! That's in the lane, unable to get it to go, but offensive rebound. It's a jump ball. A relentless defense from the YFR crowd. Where's your buzz? Uh, I'm not sure. Sultan in the corner. Braun fakes it. Gets into the lane. And a foul called. Ezra Braun is going to the line, ladies and gentlemen. JJ. We were talking about how Ezra was not being aggressive there in the first half. He had no points in the first half. Now, he's looking for his fifth of the second half, and he really has been a lot more active here. First one goes up, knocks it in. He's got a pair of points here with 11 minutes left in the second half. All right, there's one. Can he widen the lead to two? Yes, he can. Rattles that one in. JJ, I'm confused uh, about why I jerseys. Do you want to explain something to me? Why does one kid have matching shorts? This is the first time they wore their jerseys. They probably got them today. Oh, oh. Felder, pump day, three, bucket. Wildfire with the first lead of the night. And the crowd is back. Another try and made by those from Brooklyn. Doesn't have this crowd on their side, really. Something for three, trying to take matters with his own hands. Pass with the rebound, he's going to push it up. Gets no down into the down. lane. Rebounded by Kuffet's time, and they're going to push it the other way. Ron has something to Walter. Walter's back, good to see him. Oh, pass, pass, blocked by Kuffet, blocked by Ryan Farr, excuse me. I thought he was going to bring it up. Ron playing in full court, tries to get out, but Felder gets past him. Pump takes, cutter, goes up. Wow! That was loud contact, nothing called. Must have been hand to hand, I guess. Punch no, it's not basketball out. here in the, in the BA. Joe, corner three. He's not going to take it. No, he, he takes, takes it. it. Jinx. A hoss with the rebound, gives over to Felder. We are halfway through the second half. Coach this is telling Simi Felder to slow down. Haas gets around the screen, goes to the left. Pull up, no good. Oh, they had the rebound, but Joe knocked it over the head of Ezra Braun. And Ryan Farr retains possession. We're going to extend their one point lead, the largest of the night for this team. Bank again, Haas being the, you know, the only aggressor really on offense. And they're going to push it here. No time to waste. Nine minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Up it's time, down by one, Braun. Walter takes it to the wing. Came in after corner. an injury. To the wing. Good to see him back. Is that a three second? That's the third player on YFR to be called for, uh, by on um, Kovic's time. I keep on mixing it up. It's actually, it's a very devastating call. Your offense is finally getting things into motion and then that one player just... Yeah, really, really stops. Yeah. yeah, really stops things from progressing, from advancing. And it's just the fifth call tonight, inexcusable from Kovic's time. If they lose tonight, it might come down to five possessions that they didn't get a shot up because of three seconds. A three. Wow, that's a, there's a big hitch in the shot. And it's going to be going the other way. A foul. Half the time, not doing enough boxing out here. Sultan is just being a beast in the, on the boards today. Tonight, I should say. Okay, JJ. Um, Tigers. Let's talk about them for a second. Yeah, they're orange. Tigers are orange, yes. I don't see any orange on these jerseys by YFR. Miss three results in an offensive rebound. Right into a turnover. Braun trying to be aggressive. He's being a little bit too aggressive. He's got to get back. Haas gives over to Rosenthal. Three. Knocks it down. Third more lead. 29 25. Number 11 on the Tigers coming in. Clutch. Wide lead by four. Forcing a timeout on Cuffet's Heinz. Wow. Big swing. 
What a change of events. Unbelievable. A 14 point swing from down 10 to up 4. JJ, this is resilience. They this have the fighting eye back. When you know you're down, you're not going to go down in the dumps and tell yourself, you know what, game's over. It's the first half. It, now, now it's the second half. And look at the game now. They are turning the tides of the game play by play. 29 to 25. What was it in the beginning? It was 13 to 2? 13 to 13 2. 13 to 2. Like that. 10 2 for sure at one point. Well, you know what? YFL really had the eye of the Tiger, and they did not let this game get away from them. Both teams not fouling, fouling so much. Only four fouls for YFR, two for Huffett's time. Sometimes you see really high fouling games, and at the end of the game, it all just... Comes down to free throws, yeah. Comes down to free throws, yeah. Well, sometimes it's a good thing, and sometimes... It just gets annoying. In close games, when you... In close games, when you want to foul at the end, and you you played really honest defense in the beginning of the half, which is obviously great, probably kept you in the game to make it close. But then you got to foul way more times, and it takes a lot of time off the clock. Waltner, the three. Oh! The response is there. Three after three after three. The Rachel NBA Rizzo's is hot tonight. Braun calling out the defense, changes it to a two-three there. Check the ceiling because it's raining inside. A jumper oh, foul the on the on the sideline. All right, so we got Benny Eisenberger. Benny, thank you for spelling the name that we read off the back of his jersey. It's but a problem. That doesn't pronounce. Yeah, we don't know how to pronounce it. But we thank you for you know. Maybe it's book call that counts. Booker. I think Booker sounds better to be honest. Run. That's it. Walden. Hot things. Taylor. Oh, oh we're we're on something. Shot. An offensive rebound. JJ. I could have bet you. It would have been three seconds. Sam Muller says 24 Muller. Uh, is that 24 team? on the court? On Tigers, maybe, maybe sitting right now. Maybe. I'm not sure. And now we know number 24 is Muller. If you were wondering at home, Haas. Tigers kicks him to the paint. Layup good. Three point lead. Still one possession. Braun's gonna bring it up. Braun gets it over to Waltner. JJ, I think we have the record for most players wearing goggles on a on a floor right now. Waltner right another yeah. one. Yeah. 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 There's one minute left of the game here. There's still another seven minutes into this game. Absolutely. Mayhem. Waltner, three Kicks after it three. Oh, can't get down the ball. Oh, that's a rebound. Big That's run. his own that's rebound. JJ, let's slow it down a second. Put up a pair. Let's break down what just happened. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Can we check the ceiling? No leaks in here. You would think it's training right now. Absolutely three unbelievable. Three after three after three. JJ. Rosendahl, with the relentless pursuit of the ball, shoots it from the top of the arc, the longest three-point shot as he hits it. Longest shot on the floor, crashes the boards and gets his own rebound and ends up at the line for two. Absolutely phenomenal hustle. Great job as Rosendahl knocks in both free throws, brings the lead back up to three. Kicks it to the wing. Walner gives it over to Braun. Excuse me, a two-point lead. Braun for the lead! And he's fouled! He's, he's fouled! fouled the three-point line. Solomon does not get a move to land. You don't see that often in the NBA, but that is a huge mistake. These are three, three shots here. Braun, can he connect? Stat of the day from Schmiel. Rochelizer, really aggressive last game. How many points did he have last game? He has none tonight, obviously impacting the game on other aspects. He's getting on defense, a lot of rebounding. Some it's good passes. Shot. Second one. No good from Braun, but it's three free throws. And I think um, Mr. Goldstein on the bottom, he forgot that. But Virtualizer at 11 points, a really big contribution from him last game. Braun hits two out of three. And it's a tie game here at 33 apiece. Very nice. Great job. 33 up. Yeah. Simi Felder brings it left. He was looking for a shot. Rosendahl already hit a couple threes tonight. 
pass. Had a big run by himself before. And he gets a floater to fall. There's that floater that they've been trying to float in all night. Takes a two point lead. Chafetz Chaim wrong with four minutes left in the half. Braun keeps his eyes open throughout the whole game. He's not afraid to pass it. So find Sultan. Try to find him versatilizer on the call. Unable to. Wirefar, hands up, gets the passing lane. Pass, no look, Solomon travel. That's number three of the night. And we hit our target, ladies and gentlemen. Are we gonna go the over? I think that was the easy bet for tonight. Well, let's see if that comes into fruition. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Braun gets to the left, pull up. Oh, bang! bang. Great point for Reza Braun, and he's gonna look to you know, take matters into his own hand right now. Ties the game up, 3.30 to go. It's just an easy shake and bake. Just gets into the mid paint. Oh, Braun, a little bit too overzealous on the poke. Shake, you gotta come in. Braun, he's gonna look to get into double figures. Oh, and he gets the poke away! Great defense. He should wait for his teammates, this is not a tough take. And he's gonna look to extend his point total to double digits. This is the Ezra Braun show right now. Absolutely phenomenal play. Ezra Braun, yeah, the epitome yeah. of a team player. Might not have the most points on the team, but he's facilitating. Right now he does have the most points on the team. He actually does. Right now with 10. Whoa. But you know what, as a star player, you gotta know when to get your teammates involved. And you gotta know when to say, it's me time. Call your own number. And you know, sometimes winning is more important than everybody being happy with their shots. Obviously you want a happy team. Uh, a team having fun is a, is a team that's gonna be successful down the road. But right now he knows nobody's being aggressive and he's gotta call his own number. Another for the lead, and one, and one. Ball play, play opportunity from Simi Felder. Wow. Casey, okay, so that's the first one we've seen all season. Might not be the last, but definitely not a common occurrence. What a shot. These new players, Felder. they are not afraid to chuck it and let it score. You know what? They're not afraid of their own shots, and you see that with some players in the NBA. And you know what? They don't turn into the greatest players they could have been. Felder here taking advantage of his great achievements in life. Puts up another one right there. You know what they say with Felder? When Simi Felder's going to chuck it, you know it's going to be a bucket. Braun into the paint. Oh, Walner, another one. Oh, he scores! With a third, third play opportunity. Walner with his fifth three of the day. Excuse me, he's the leading scorer. Not Ezra Braun, but Walner. Great, so it's a calm Clay Thompson. Is this the best game in NBA history? Absolutely not. We'll have to wait to find out. You, you never no, know. No, it's not over yet. You're it's right. Walner. Four ball play opportunity. He has 16. This game is just a highlight reel. Highlight after highlight. Felder. Unbelievable. Takes it to 13. Haas gets on the baseline. Not by the defense. Back away by Rushalizer. Joe comes up with it. Who's it out of Saves it to Warner. Behind and the Braun's going to be leading the pass break. Braun finds something. Braun drops it out of bounds. That was a beautiful pass. Wow. Can I get a hand on it? Braun saw it. He knew what to do with it, but Sultan just dropped it. He 130 left to the game. Wildfire fired away. Up by Jimmy, two. deep. No good. That was not a bucket. Braun lets it go out of bounds. One minute and 18 seconds left to go. JJ, two point game. Timeout. Okay, that might have been the first time I ever saw back to back four point plays. JJ, what an absolutely unbelievable sequence. And we have a two-point lead right now for Cup and Sky. Like you guys see on the screen right now, any advertising uh, opportunities? Um, any advertising opportunities? If you guys want to have a stream of games, all teams for the NBA season, we, you know, we're happy to uh, happy to stream your games for the right price, of course. So please hit us up. Let us know if you're interested. Endorse us. Whatever it is, help support a small business at broadcastmba at gmail.com. Look, uh, let's keep an eye on country over here. I, I got it off. Uh, absolutely inspirational. The country cam. The country, country cam. cam. I like that. 
You know, the dynamic duo of Country and Andre, they might be the faces of this league. Like, if we made a hype poster slash video, maybe we got one of those Andre slow-mo travel calls. I think we're going to come out with, with uh, Country and Andre merch. Country and Andre merch, highlight reel. Pump it's time, 0-1 in the season after a mishap last week. Can they take their first one of the season? Longer. He's been sniping all night. Braun, middle of the paint. Knocked away from the defense. Great defense. A scram on the floor. Aggressive. And that's going to be a jump ball. I believe it's going to stay. Nope. Wildfire ball. Under a minute to go in regulation. Pump it's time. They're up by two. What can we expect from Felder as he's taking up the ball? Well, in my opinion, I think Haas has been their best offensive option. And he gets it right here. He loves going left. That's left. A foul's called. Sultan had hands on the body of Haas, pushing him on the way up. It's a one and one. 48.4 seconds to go. And Haas looking to tie the game with a pair of free throws. Felder not realizing he's alive. Haas, you know, even, even, it doesn't matter to him. He's going to make it two free throws regardless of what happens here tonight. Haas going to look for the second one. And Haas has been phenomenal tonight with a total score of eight. And he's been one of the deciding factors to the fact that Waterfar came back into this game. 35 seconds. Country is blocking my camera. Push up, push up, push up. We got Ezra Braun handling up top. I don't think Ezra sat for one second tonight. Is he going to hold the ball for one shot? It looks like that's what he's going to do. Coach for YFR telling Solomon to pressure him a little bit. He's trying to get in Braun's head, but Braun's on face. He's going to have to make a move now. It's a pay. Kick out. Warner. Perfect. Horse wise it. Nothing happens there. Warner, five seconds to go. This was it. Oh, he's fouled. He's fouled. Three and a half seconds. Tie game 41 41. First of all, we're going to take the lead here. Go ahead, free throws. It's a one on one, though. So a missed free throw here. And we're likely going to overtime. Unless Wyatt gets a quick rebound, a timeout, advances the ball, and see what they can try. First of all, no points tonight. He's coming up. This is the most clutch shot the player took the whole game. Can he get his first point to the game? Yeah, he's trying to get in his head. Could not call a timeout. Ryan Park tried calling a timeout to ice the shooter. The crowd is going crazy. First of all, I do. Oh, he finally nails it. Big shot from the free throw line. It's a routine shot, but sometimes players let the pressure get to them. First of all, he's not one of those players. That was a big time shot there. It was a one on one. So he will be taking another one. You know what? If there he is still time on the clock though, if he hits this, can they advance the ball? If he hits the shot. A timeout called. Rafar has two timeouts left. He's gonna tell them what to do in a scenario where they get the ball. But first, they have to get the ball. The rebound off of a potential miss is huge and it's key to the potential, you know, game-winning shot opportunity for YFR. JJ, assuming that either Virtualizer knocks down this shot or YFR misses and they get a rebound. Assuming that they get the ball, what do you think, YFR, who do you think they should look to for a game tying or winning shot? Well, if I'm not Khafiz Khan, I want YFR to hit the shot, right? Because then you have... Right, then you get the ball without an issue of rebounding. Yeah. Can they advance the ball? That's what I'm trying to ask. Um, I think so. I don't know how... If yeah. they can advance the ball, that would be clutch. Cannot advance There's the no ball. There's no advancing. We just got that. Um... You know, last year, Owen Cohen on the May Eagles took a half-court heave and it went in. Wow, that's a flashback. That's unbelievable. Your MVP chance this game, the shot is up and he hits it. He hits it. That's what he wants to hit it. Ball. So now, Wi-Fi has to draw something up from the baseline. They have to go baseline to baseline, full court, and you're going to have to assume they're going to get a three off, not a two. 
I doubt they'll be able to get the ball close enough to get it to in time. Hafez Chaim thrilled about how this game is going for them. Well, very, that, very close game. Yeah, obviously they like to have a little bit more wiggle to breathe. Yeah, but they're happy they're taking the lead right now. This is why for our 10th grade team, though, it's something special. Yeah, a lot of a lot of potential. Obviously, the fact that they're split up with 9th and 10th for YFR, it kind of handicaps their potential. But they really showed out tonight, and they were a resilient bunch. JJ, what a game here. Two-point lead. The crowd here. This is YFR side. They're standing up. They really wish something could happen here. Cup of time on the other side. Five seconds. Three point right, five seconds. Let's do it. Solomon on the inbound. There's yeah, no Hoss. one else on that side of the court. Let's see what their game plan is with this. The inbound. He could run on the baseline. Felder trying to get open. Turn over. Ron holds it. That's the game. Cup of time. Cavaliers are your winners in this amazing thriller. While well, we ask for the last second for the birthday of Gabby Newman. 43 to 41. Yeah. Really coming down to the last second here. Absolutely. I'm saying, obviously, Wildfire has got to be upset with how that last play went for them. But the final 43 is going to try 41, Wildfire. If you guys want us to stream broadcast their games in the following weeks, please hit us up at broadcastmba.com. Other sports protection as well. Hockey, football, whatever it is. Hit us up, advertising, broadcastmba.com. This has been Yehuda Diamond and JJ Ashraf signing off.